That Uber, I, 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 I don't even want Sage. I just want regular work. Okay. You know, regular work. You put the prices up after we gather that shine. But you listen to us. We appreciate you that. You know, now you pick up from Headingley Mount, Skyrack, you drop out Shiano Prism on Woodhouse Lane, Merrin Center. We get paid 354. I can live with that, providing I get rolled on job. But I'm waiting there 10 minutes on a freshest week. It doesn't make sense. And that is happening because of outside town drivers. And, and you're employing more and more drivers. And that's not going to work. We don't want negative publicity to Uber. Negative publicity to Uber is negative publicity to me. Because I'm having to answer to every customer. Why were you out there? Why is it an evening post? Why was your 14 evening post? I don't want to be honest. I just want to come behind the wheel, do my shift, go home and see my family, see my friends when I've got time. But you, you honestly, and we're not greedy, we just want what we deserve. And you're not allowing that to take place. You're not allowing us social life, you're not allowing us family life. How does another so please. So I'm asking you, you can do that. I know you can do that. You can do that click of a finger. You can do it today, two miles, three miles, whatever. Because they were restricted before, sorry, and we were achieving our targets. You were covering your jobs. And we will make money. Everybody's happy. Like, if I'm not happy, how am I going to receive my customer, which is my breadline? I'm not going to. I'm not going. I'm going to be frustrated. I'm going to be fighting with my wife. I'm going to be fighting with my kids. I'm going to be fighting, arguing with my fellow friends. What will you achieve then? So please, you know, all these drivers are similar. To, so I'm not yeah, okay, yeah, I'm hearing it, yeah. but they all have similar. To, and so humble request to you is before he escalates. To where it's good. a driver gets out of train station and smacks one of them out of town driving. That's what's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, it's it's going to happen. happen. Honestly, I'm not kidding you. That's it's going to happen, and it's, the blame is going to come down to you. I'm, 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 I'll bet you. I'll bet you my life on it. No, on a serious note. Yeah, 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 yeah. On a serious note. I'm hearing what you're saying. Let me speak to some people. Yeah. Yeah. Please, humble request on behalf of all the drivers, on behalf of myself, that please, please stop employing drivers. Restrict them to a three mile radius. I know you can't stop when you're going to behind, hide behind, uh, not you personally, but who's going to hide behind government legislation. We can take it to further. We can take it to lease management, uh, lease city council, licensing committee. And we don't want a scenario where TFL was involved and your uh, CEO was shipped in from America the next day, you know, to talk with uh, Sadiq Khan. We don't want that scenario here. We want a healthy partnership the way you describe it. Okay. Now, we're only going to achieve that if you listen to what we said. And you can do that like that. We know you can. It's all, the ball is in your court before this has... Honestly, I'm not kidding you. One of these days, somebody... That's another council in the middle. One of these days, somebody's going to get out of train station and he's going to smack one of these guys. Okay, I would definitely suggest that it's not a good idea. No, it's not a good idea, but do you understand? But do you understand? It's only point. Guys, I'm not going to go into individual accounts here because it's not... But do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know when you're working, I don't know where you're working. Okay, but the thing is, you know, have a chat about that. You know, they need to put a stop to it because the frustration out of drivers is just going to build momentum. And if it carries on, it's not going to look good for Uber as well for ourselves. Okay. So uh, all it's like uh, the gentleman was just saying here is a request. You know, before it escalates, before it gets any further, before it gets out of hand, we want it to put, uh, put, put a stop to it. Really. Okay. You know, that, that's all we're asking because when Uber launched in the beginning, they were paying drivers to sit around. Whether they did four miles, five miles, three miles, it's irrelevant. But they were paying drivers. Why can't Uber have a system where they were shedding out so much money and bringing in drivers and paying them four or five hundred pounds at that time? Why can't they have a, a structure in place where the rest of the exporters stay in their own counties or towns, build the work there? Why can't Uber have a system like that? Build a work there so their drivers can stick around there instead of just coming straight away over here, having a knock on effect on our livelihoods here. And then it builds it builds into frustration. Yeah, absolutely. So so that's all we're asking. Why can't they have a system in place where they can stay there? Kirklees, Bradford, Wakefield, all of them. You go to York. They're not happy drivers, which is understandable. Yeah. Because why should we have to go from here to York when we've been working here for many years? Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's for the simple we're reason. Yeah. The, yeah. I mean, it, look, this, you know, this is stuff that we're aware of. Okay. Uber as a company, we yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah. working for them and stuff, but it's got to a stage where it's boiling point now. Okay. You know, and all, all, all what's going to happen is there's going to be. More